Which weekend? Which weekend? Which weekend? Ooh. I don't know, do we even say? Today, we are going to be attempting to do a 24 hour overnight challenge in a car dealership. This might be one of the hardest overnight challenges we've ever done. Because if you think about it, boys, a car dealership is basically a bank but for cars. And how we are gonna manage to pull this off while filming the entire thing is we're gonna pretend we're filming a vlog of me getting my first car. I'm gonna be showing Nick around, you know, I'm the older brother, I already, I already got my car. And I'm gonna be like, yo Nick, which one do you think you like? I'm gonna be milking it, trying to pretend that we're really looking for a car. When in reality, all we're looking for is a place to hide before this place closes. It closes at seven o'clock and it is currently six, 37 so we got 23 minutes to go in there scout the entire place and try to find a spot that we can all go inside hide and hopefully not get caught this is gonna be tough man i'm not gonna lie what's up guys hello i didn't know oh, shit, it is. he told us to come out <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. 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 oh yeah yeah we're just taking him car shopping yeah. yeah that's the vlog so we're gonna go to a couple dealerships and see how it goes we just went there and then we're going here. We're awesome. Just shooting our intro for the vlog. Yeah, just the intro. Okay. I don't care. I'm shaking out. Hey. Nice to meet you. Yes, you too, bro. You too. That was a close one right there. All the employees from inside just came up and asked us what we were doing. We already had to lie. So now we even got less time to hide and all the eyes are on us. We got to get up in there. NCK, your future car might be in here, bro. You never oh, man, know. I'm ready. I'm ready to look around. It really just depends what you like. Might be in here. You never know. How are you doing? How are you? Good. How are you? Doing good. Doing good. Ricky, nice to meet you. Ricky, nice meeting you. This is MTK. MTK? Yes. He's nice. looking to get his first car, and we've been looking at a couple dealerships. This might be the place. You never know. We're just vlogging. Oh, that's cool. Hey, what's up? What was your name? DJ Fab. DJ Fab. Yeah, nice to meet you. My name's Chayton. Everybody here calls me Cheeto. Cool, cool. Do you so, like leaving the residue on your fingers and licking it later? It actually got caught behind my ears. Somebody made up the name. Then the next week, I sold my first car. It was a bright orange Honda Fit, so it stuck like glue, man. Oh, who knows? <laughs> Today might be the second year. You know? <laughs> Follow me this way. Yeah, yeah. Let's take a look around. Okay, this is a brand new Honda uh, SUV, like the passport and the pilot redesign right here. Um, you guys can have a seat. You know, go ahead and draw the shade. It gets kind of hot for this window. Oh, fudge. Can, can we just look around yeah, for a second? Sure. Just, yeah, yeah, that'd be cool. Wait, you want water or anything? Um, sure, that'll be great. No, 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 no. We, we cannot sit down. We don't got time to sit down. Yeah, we don't have time to sit down. Boys. And, and we ain't really buying the car. So. There's a couple of cars that are covered up, but I don't know if it'll be too obvious if we lift that whole thing up. Yeah, I don't know if we can do that, bro. And I don't know if these are unlocked. Oh, wow, that's actually nice. Oh, thank you so much. You got it, you got it. Thank Find you. anything you like? Absolutely. We, we just started looking. Thank you definitely liking something with like with more room to fit a couple people. Yeah. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. I got gotcha. you. gotta fit like a couple people. We all okay. you know. Um, thank you. Do you know where the bathroom is? All the way down. First door or left door to left. Okay, thank you. I'm liking Honda so far. Some very good options, right guys? Very good, very good yeah. options. You like the one with the more room, right? Yeah, I, I'm liking the one with more room for sure. All right, bathroom is clear. DJ Fab, get in the stall. There is no one else looking for cars. It is currently 6.45. Bro, we got 15 minutes. We gotta come up with something right now, for real. All right, guys, we came up with a game plan. Not really sure if it's a good one, but it's all we got, because we only got 10 minutes. So I'm gonna distract the salesman while DJ Fab and Nick sneak into the car. While they sneak into the car, I'm gonna tell the salesman, yo man, they actually had to run to the other dealership across town. Hopefully he believes that. Then I'm gonna go outside and act like I'm leaving. Then I'm gonna come back inside, say, oh my gosh, I forgot something in the bathroom. Then I have to make it in the car without him seeing me or saying anything to me or without anyone else seeing. There's a bunch of people in here, bro. Yeah, there's like, 14 employees and no customers besides us. The mission fails if you fail, bro. I On you too, though. You guys got to go in there. I got to distract them. This is risk. You did high risk, bro. What? Oh, the, the vlog of him shopping? Yeah, yeah, you want to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you want to? You want to say something? Oh, no, no, don't put me on the spotlight. <laughs> oh, okay, 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 okay. Oh, so you've seen the vid You've seen our vids before? Yeah. I've... Oh, let's go. That's why I Hey, that's like... what's up. You know the most about us? Yeah. Would you say he de he deserves to be in the vid, probably? Oh, for sure. Okay, then yeah. Well, Angelo, that, then we got a special too. thing. Then you come over here with us, but then you guys can't like see what we're doing. You would just see it in the video. Okay. 
All right, well then, you wanna come with us? Yeah, All right. I'm gonna lie to you, I'm racing, so don't get Dude, I'm, not, I'm gonna be super honest right now, bro. You can't tell anyone, bro. <laughs> You're shaking, bro. Bro, you cannot tell anyone. I'm so sure, I don't know why. I had to trust one of y'all, because it would've looked weird, and I honestly needed to get away from them. We're trying to spend the night here, so we're trying to sneak in one of the cars without them seeing, and I think now is the perfect time. So if they're gonna go, you're gonna go along with everything I say, okay? Uh, got me? Okay. Promise? Okay, okay, okay. Go in the car, boys. Now, 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 now. Go in the car now. First time. Like peace, We are inside of the car right now, but I feel like we are peeking out of the window so heavily. For real. We're trying to get as low as possible. I don't know if there's even room for Ricky in here, bro. We got Angelo right here. Hopefully I can trust him. I think I can. Yes. Nick and DJ Fab are currently in the car. We see them right now. I am going to say they left. You're gonna tell all of your other employees and friends, right? That I had to run to go to the Nissan dealership. Right after, I'm gonna run back around the dealership, come through the east door, and I'm gonna run back in the car with them. So I was gonna buy the guy this place. The employee offices are right next to us too. Yo, we gotta actually stay low. Like if one of us pops our heads out, it could be done. Look, the whole thing. Hopefully Ricky's plan works. Good, good, good. But I'm still gonna vlog the rest. They want, we want, we're doing like, a, how many dealerships can we go to in one day? We've already been to ten, so they're going to. The, they ran to that one, and I'm gonna film the rest real quick. Is that cool? Okay, okay. Thanks, guys. All right, Nick and DJ Fab went to the other dealership. I have to finish vlogging the rest of the cars. We're trying to film every single car at the dealership, so it's hard. Crazy boys. As you can see, there is a lot of employees up in there. I'm talking, there's like 15 of them up in here. Yo, is there any way I can film this car? Or no way? I'm just trying to show off, like we're trying to show off every car. So guys, this might be the last car I'm filming for the day. Really? All right guys, so there's one more. I thought that was the last one, but here we go. Oh my. Yo, what? Oh, can I look on the inside? Yo, I don't think these windows are tinted either. So they can easily see in here if they just look. Yo, yo. Uh-oh. Could be over. Could be over. Is this, is this, what kind of car is this? Certified Civic Type R. Oh, Type R. That's what my friend was talking about. I didn't know that they were this crazy, bro. But yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, man. Thank you so much, bro. Hi, bro. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. I'll see you around. Shout out Honda, bro. Super nice. I hope Nick liked these cars. I don't know which one he's going to end up going with, but we'll see. And we're about to catch up with the boys at the other dealership. That's Ricky right there, guys. But I don't know if he's going to be able to make it in here with us because there is no more room in here for Ricky. All right, guys. Now, somehow, I have to make it back around and into the car. This is crazy, boys. This is actually crazy. I might have to sneak in a separate car. I don't know if there's room in that one for me. The time is currently 7 Oh, two. So this place has officially closed, but I think the employees might be in here for a little bit longer, cleaning things up, closing the shop. I'm not sure how much longer, but no sign of Ricky at this moment. I love you. Sorry, my brother left something in the bathroom. All right, I'm going in here. Can I go in here? Go, 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 go. I made it into the back of this car. I am by myself right now. Nick and DJ Fab are in the car right in front of me in the trunk. They are right in that car. And I'm not gonna lie right now, I've only been in here for five minutes and it is getting hot. Your boy is sweating and I don't know how long we're gonna have to go in here. No. <laughs> what are you doing? It's over, bro. No, bro. It's over, bro. I'm, We're gonna I'm, get caught. No, bro. I'm yeah, cause I'm gonna leave this car. God. I'm so sorry. Come on, bro. That's bro. We're not friends or something, bro. You hate me? It is 7:25 right now. We've been in here for nearly 30 minutes, and it just keeps getting hotter and hotter. But there are still a bunch of employees in this office right over here next to us. So we just gotta lay low until all of them leave. It could be another 10 minutes, it could be another two hours. I'm about to call Nick and DJ. Yo, Ricky's calling, Ricky's calling. Hello? Hello? Yo, boys. Where are you? I'm in the car right behind you, the red one. I barely made it in. I don't even know how I made it in. It's 
getting hot in here, bro. Bro, I am soaked. But we can't get out, bro. There's so many employees. There's employees walking past this car like every two seconds. And you can't talk too loud because you can hear them talking when they walk by. So that means if you talk too loud, they can hear you, bro. Yeah, bro. I think we just gotta lay low. It might be a minute, though. Yeah. Alright, boys. We gotta lay low. Stay strong. Alright. See ya. It is so hot up in here that this is actually steaming up, as you can see, guys. I think someone just walked by. I almost just got caught. Little update on the situation. Time is currently 7.51 now, and the windows to this car are getting extremely foggy. I don't know how we haven't been caught yet, if I'm being honest. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Look how foggy it is. You can literally draw on it. You like my drawing? Um, uh, masterpiece. <laughs> Two people just walked back in. I don't know if that's an employee or if that's someone trying to buy a car. I think this guy's actually buying a car right now. That means we're gonna be in here for a long time. Time is currently 8.26 p.m. There are still employees out there, but look at this car, guys. All the windows completely fogged up, even that front one. There's no way that they don't check this. Oh, I hope Ricky's still good back there, bro. Yo, it is so hot in here. The car is actually steaming up from my breath. You can see the windows. And this guy is actually buying a car right now. I cannot believe this. He came in after hours to buy a car. Of course that would happen on the one night that we're trying to do this. It is currently 8.26. I've been in here for almost two hours. Hopefully Nick and DJ Fab are still alive in the trunk in front of me. I see the, I see the trunk bouncing up and down. I have no idea what they're doing up in there. That is a little bit weird. The radio just turned off and so did one of the lights. And I don't hear too many voices right now. I don't hear any. We're calling Ricky and letting him know what we saw. Yo boys, they turned off the music and part of the lights. Yeah, I think it's time to get out of these cars, bro. Please, please. Are you sure, bro? I think so, but just very quietly. Dude, I don't know. That just happened like two minutes ago. All right, we'll wait a couple minutes and then we'll get out. A couple more minutes, couple more minutes. The time is currently 9.01 p.m., which means the boys have been in the car for over two hours. It's time to get out. Call Ricky. The boys are calling me right now. Yo, boys. Yo, it's time. Be very, very quiet, just in case. We have to assume that there is still someone in here. Yo, you come out first and then come get us. Okay, I'm gonna be very, very quiet, boys. Be careful. Okay, I'm going. Here goes nothing. like Squidward tentacles up in here, buddy. Remind me, next time we do one of these, do not bring this man, bro. Oh, oh, I just turned off. I think it's motion sensor. I didn't even know dealerships had it upstairs. It looks like we're in someone's office right now. Look at this 
this is. It's like a part room. Yo. Yo, look, there's windshields right here. Yeah, boys. Can you get away from me? I'm getting a little tired of you. <laughs> Who's crawling through? I think one, one crawl rip. Run crawl rip, guys. I'm going all the way. Oh, oh, I don't want to get stuck. Come on, dog, come on. I'm coming. Oh, okay, I'm feeling claustrophobic. Oh, my God, I gotta come out now. Oh, for real. You got it, you got it? I got it, I got it. Bro, that would suck to get stuck in there. Bro, help your brother, man. Hey, he chose it, bro. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Hey, y'all would've got stuck in here, probably. Oh, fast. Bro's calling us fat. No, I'm calling you thick. Especially you behind the camera. We continued to explore the rest of the dealership, making sure we had this place to ourselves. And we did. It looks like a little meeting room. Boys, we have successfully completed step number one of the plan. Sneak in to Regal Honda in Lakeland, Florida. And now it is time for step number two. Find some keys and rev some engines. <laughs> rev some engines. <laughs> What car is that? Dude, I don't know, but I want to rev some engines, bro. I like that idea. And to pull this off, we're gonna need a lot of teamwork, a lot of communication to see the vision, because united we stand. Bro's just reading these posters, acting like he's a motivational speaker. For real. Let's move on to step number two, boys. Meeting done. Let's go. Good meeting. We gotta try and start one of these cars. And I'm thinking, we start that one that you were in. The one that I was in looked the fastest. But there is something I have to say before we go over there. When I was in my car, I could see y'all's car bouncing up and down, bro. And I don't wanna say anything, but I'm just saying I saw it bounce up and down and y'all were both in there. <laughs> Let's go, come on. Nothing to say, huh? What do you gotta say for yourself, buddy? I got nothing to say, man. Now let's go to the car and see if we can get it to start. What I'm thinking is, if the doors are unlocked and they're open, there's a good chance the keys might be in the car. So I think we just try and give it a little start. And you already know, one Rev Rick is here. No one calls you that, bro. bro. They call me that now. We're legit about to rev a car in a car dealership. This is crazy, boys. Loves this guy's right. Bro, Bro, how are they gonna call you one Rev Rick and you don't know which one is the okay, gas? You watch this. Give it a rev, give it a rev. Yo, what if it just goes flying forward in that car? Well, that would mean we'd have to buy two cars tonight, buddy. So don't do that. Rip. Bro, take it easy. Take it easy. They call you one Rev Rick. It's a multi Rev Rick now, baby. Oh my goodness, the engine, bro. The engine, get out. Are you sure? Yes, bro. Got a little carried away, please. Mission accomplished, though. For real. We thought revving the engine would be the highlight of our night, but little did we know what we were about to feast our eyes on. Yo, y'all gotta see this. Regal Honda Salesperson of the Month, Michael Greenhow. But he was employee of the month every single month of his life, it looks like. Bro went undefeated. This is actually insane. There's some down here too. There's I don't even think bro has enough sp Oh my, there's more here. I didn't even see he these. He ran out of room. He legit probably has more at home because he ran out of room. December 2008, salesperson of the month. We got November 2008, salesperson of the month. We got October. Bro, it's every single month. Of every, every single, single year. year of his life. This dude came out of the womb and sold his mom a car. This is insane. Yo, from 2015? No, not even 2015, bro. It dates back to the 1900s, bro. No. <laughs> Before Honda was invented, this man was selling cars. This dude sold Henry Ford, the Model T. How old is this man, bro, actually? I don't even know, bro. This is insane. Bro, wait, are these his too? Dude has a whole shelf full of all of his accolades. 
from selling cars. Salesperson of the year. Not the month, the year, brother. And look how many he's got every single year. Dude, they don't even call it employee of the month anymore. They call it the Michael Greenhow Award. And if you guys are loving the videos and the overnight challenges, be sure you subscribe because when the boys hit 5 million subscribers, we are going back to the world's biggest McDonald's and spending 5 nights there. Yes, you heard that right. 5 nights. So stop what you're doing, click that subscribe button, and we'll see y'all in the world's biggest McDonald's. We will literally see you guys there because on the fifth and final day, we're going to invite all of you guys out to come with us if we make it. So subscribe. You do not want to miss that. No need, there's no need to pan to me. Bro, I'm tired, bro. I'm not going to lie. These overnight challenges, they begin to us. It really messes your sleep schedule up for a couple weeks. And we be doing a couple of these a week. <laughs> <laughs> I did hear that there was a whole other section to this dealership when we were looking at it online. I believe it is right out of this door. Right across over there. I think we make the journey. Let's go. Bro. Bro, come on, dude. Bro. Yo, are you okay for real? Your whole face hit the front of the door. Bro. I didn't know it was locked. It's locked. What do we do? Looks like there's stuff over here. Well, that's what we always do, boys. We follow the sign that says don't go. Danger? That's my middle name. I guess we're going this way. Bro, this is giving me bad vibes, bro. Y'all know we got arrested back in the day for trespassing on a construction site. And where are we right now? <gasps> Guys, do not try this at home or at a dealership or anywhere. Do not, because this is not good to do for real bro like we're having fun out here but at the same time bro this is so risky but with that being said continue well, there's cars up in there no way it's like a little workshop no bro this is actually giving me scary vibes oh well, come on this is actually giving me scary vibes gotta explore it It seems like we're doing something bad. Like it just seems it's out of a scary movie, doesn't it? Yeah, bro. It's sick. I'm getting a weird feeling, bro. Come on, we gotta at least go under the Camaro. Like, what else do you get to see underneath the car like this? This is crazy. Dude, if it just falls, bro? No. <laughs> like, seriously, bro, I feel like this is where someone gets hurt. This is like a scary movie, bro. And then some dude comes out here with like a chainsaw. Right? Yes, bro. Bro, that's what it reminds me of. In the body shop, bro. Alright, yo, I see, let's go back to the main area. Yeah, I had enough of this. Yeah, you know, we've seen what we need to see. Let's go this way. <gasps> yo, what, bro? Oh, there's police right there. There's police right there. There's, police. there's probably someone in that car, too. Oh, bro, this is not good. Not oh, no, there is. There literally is. Yo, there is definitely someone in that cop car. I can see them. Just act normal. Act like we're supposed to be here. <clears throat> well, you, we need to build the station here so the car, the cars can drive through this way. Yep. And then you're gonna go, we're gonna slowly walk this way because that's where the car, that's where we're working on the cars yes, later. Yeah, yeah, over there, and over thank there. you for coming in today and helping oh, us, yes. Mr. Garcia. Yes, no yes. problem. Um, like we're, we're not even trespassing right now, yeah? Mm -hmm. We're allowed to do this because this is our shop. Yeah, guys, come through and get a car from the boys, Honda Regal, and uh, in Florida, and use code Ireland Boys when you get here, and they'll give you a little discount. And don't come back here because uh, you'll probably get arrested. What are the chances y'all said y'all got arrested last time y'all were in a construction site, and there's a police waiting for us? What are the chances? Pretty high. I think we did. Bro. Yo, we gotta find this alarm. Yo, where's that coming from? Oh, that's this way, this way. Oh, it's in the wall. Is it actually? Oh, no. Yo, I think we just set off this alarm. We definitely just set off that alarm. Yo, what do we do? Bro, what do we actually do? Doesn't that send an automatic signal to the cops, probably? I don't wanna set that off. Look at it. It looks like a look like Elon Musk made that thing, bro. Alarm silence. There's an alarm silence on Trey Pass. I don't know, bro. I don't know, bro. Uh, oh, yo, 
Yo, it just made, bro, did you see that? Dude, it just blinked red. It just blinked red. I feel like the cops are definitely, bro, I'm not even, ah, bro, I feel like the cops are definitely coming. Ooh. I don't know, do we even stay? What do we actually do, bro? Bro, I think you press it. You have to try. I'm pressing it. I'm pressing it. It's gotta be this. Yeah, but if that sends something to the cops, though, they're still coming. The alarm's just silenced. Unless we silence it in time. All I know is that the alarm is not going off anymore, so. I think we're good. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh, shoot. Stop here, boys. Go, go, go. Okay, we're opening, we're opening. We're opening, we're opening. We're opening, we're opening. We're opening, we're opening. Which way? Can I open? Yo, each of you guys done, bro. I'm gonna unlock the door. My hands are up. Andrew, we're, we're spending the night here. For, for a video, for a video. No. Yes. Okay, okay. Yes. Step out. Step out. Come out here and have a seat, guys. Have a seat. Have a seat, okay. The subjects are advised and we have 1075 information. Huh. Is it? Oh, it's just for, just like what we do. It wasn't looking good for the boys. They had this place surrounded and there was no way we were escaping. We pleaded with the cops to let us go, but they said they would only let us go if you subscribe right now. Okay, so maybe they didn't really say that. What they actually said was, why shouldn't we arrest you all right now? So we asked them if we could make one phone call to our boy Angelo, who we met at the beginning of the video. We got him on the phone and he was able to prove that he worked there and gain the trust of the cops, ultimately saving the boys from going to jail. Thank you, Angelo. You're a real one. We got the boys right here. That was crazy, boys. Absolutely insane, right? Thank you, thank you. Thank you. That was crazy, the whole squad. I think about 14 cops pulled up. This is crazy, boys. Oh, bro, they pulled the gun. Yo, they had me, dude, they had me like put my hands behind my back. He had, he had the gun ready. That was insane. I don't even know what just happened. It's okay. We're safe. That's, a, that's what matters. Wow. Hall of fame on him. Go damn on him. Take shots in the main minute. <laughs> you are thick. I'm sorry. Bro, bro. Boys, we have successfully. <laughs> successfully. Oh my. Cut that.